Hello, um, my name is Buenos Cesar Conte. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share, like, and leave your comments. Welcome to this channel. Um, you can go back to the previous um, um, v um, video where I spoke about um, religion and relationships because a lot of us, we are having problems with our relationship, be it your marriage, your boyfriend, girlfriend relationship with our parents, with our friends, siblings, so on and so forth by these so-called men and women of God. I was just trying to say that religion is inside us. The time that a lot of us spend on praying all night prayer, as if one hour prayer is not enough. We have not killed Jesus. We were not there when they killed Jesus. Come on. Don't be idle. You understand? Go and find work to do. Spend some of that time to make your home happy, to make your husband happy, to make your wife happy. You understand? That is idleness in the highest degree, okay? Now, some of the things you can do, this is when you know that you can work on your relationship. It is your relationship. It is not mine. It is not Pastor Jokodo relationship. It is yours. Do you understand? You can tell the red flags will be there when a man does not need you and a man is not ready to change. Like a serial cheater. Can you take it? Ah, if you can take it, it is okay because I will not take it. I would not advise you to take it either, but it is your life. It is your choice. However, if you see you can work on that relationship, there are certain things you can do to draw your man's attention back or your wife's attention. It goes both ways. For instance, it is always good to spice up a relationship, especially when problems start coming. One thing you have to know, when your husband got married to you, your husband looked it is your look something that attracted your husband a lot of a lot of us especially women we let go as soon as we have that man especially if that man puts a ring on our finger we just let go we don't dress sexy anymore ah eh? every day you tie that dirty lapa the lapa the same lapa that you tie when you are cleaning that fish the ring scent and everything. That is the same lapa you tie when your husband is coming home. Ah, it is not good. Make some effort. Your husband still wants to see that sex. In fact, do it more. You understand? Keep yourself interesting for your man or this other way around. But let me just say for now the women. Spice up that relationship. There are times you'll be tired. I understand. But not all the time. Come home to that smelly lapa. It is not good. Ah, then you'll be praying and fasting. <laughs> the man is not interested in you anymore. No, is it the prayers and the fasting that will make them, you um, attractive to your husband? You might be attracted to uh, that pastor one day. That will go into that small room with you. Not your husband. The other thing you can do to be spicing up your relationship, you are the woman, we have the brain. Remember, we are wise. Once in a while, surprise your man. Take your man to the hotel. And please, when you go to that hotel, <laughs> that suitcase, I have to show you samples of things that should be in that suitcase. No lapa, no granny clothes, lingerie, the pants and the bra, all to match. Make it attractive. Red is a very attractive color. Go to and Sumner's if you live in England, some other places. Each and every city have places where you will go, where they sell those sex toys. Yes, they do sell those things there. Lingerie. Ah, don't go with granny clothes again to that hotel. You are going there to jiggy jiggy all throughout the time. Oh. You are going there to spice, put pepper, salt in your relationship. You are not going there to wear that smell granny clothes. Don't do it. Otherwise, just stay at home, please. I don't like it. Do you understand? Make it romantic. Do you understand? Ah, another way. You people, why are you calling your husband Paul, Samuel, Christopher? Don't you have a pet name for your husband or your lover? <laughs> you must be kidding me. If you want to whistle, my dad used to whistle my mom until death came and snatched one from the other. They whistle themselves. 
That is being romantic. Do you understand? Get out of your comfort zone. Some of us are. Missionary style, step on calling, step, step, boring, boring, oh, oh, boring. You understand? If the kids are not around, you can do it on the steps. <laughs> Have you watched that film by Michael Douglas? Did you see what that woman did to him? He went quickly for some time before he realized himself on top of the kitchen table. Tap running. Water came into play. Everything can come into play as long as it's not dangerous. Do you understand? That is what you do to spice up your relationship. Me, <laughs> I can't do pole dancing. Are you crazy? Men, they like it though. Take that uh, uh, mop. You understand? I start dancing. Dance for your husband. It is your husband now. It is not my husband. It is yours. Do things that will spice and make the relationship go like fireworks. Boom! Zuba, ba, 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 boom! Explosive. Do you understand? And please, ah, women, this is what women do now to cook. <laughs> you have to learn. Oh. It goes both ways. Men as well, you have to learn how to cook. It is not difficult. Learn to learn until the day you leave this earth. Learn. It keeps your brain open. It keeps things happening. It keeps life moving on. We do move. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button. And please share, 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 share. Ah, I'm tired of saying share, but do share. I do appreciate it. May God Almighty bless you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.